Hey guys, sorry we're late. Technical difficulties with the Wi-Fi situation, but I think we got it worked out. Just trying to make sure it's not uh, blurry like the last video. Uh, Hopefully this one's good. Heavens to Betsy. So we are T minus six days to Christmas. Ask me if I'm ready. <laughs> I think all the stuff is purchased. Oh, it's all purchased. It's in our walk-in closet and under our bed and- in... We're in the same situation as we were Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't done anything else. I need to wrap it. Like, I get real motivated, like, at the beginning of the season, and then by the time Christmas actually rolls around, I'm like, oh, who bought all this stuff? <laughs> and really, we don't go overboard. There's just so many people in our house. And then this year, we have my mom and dad just flew in, so we've got Christmas and pajamas for them, too. So it just, uh, it gets a little crazy. But today, we are going to be um, painting these boards. We'll talk about them here in a little bit. This wood was raw and we kind of want to go over how to take raw wood and get a chippy look on it with milk paint because that's one of our number one asked questions when you build something, how to make it chippy. Yeah. And then we're going to be, while that's drying, we're going to bring out our Christmas cards because we have to get them stamped and we figure might as well do that live. Yes. So, uh, you know, the Christmas cards that we should have gotten out a week ago, we're going to get out today. Yeah. And I've decided I normally mail out over a hundred cards. I've decided that, um, we are going to do them for siblings, parents, and the people that sent us cards and grandparents. Oh, and grandparents. So we're going to do like 40 cards as opposed to stamping 150. And then we yeah. need to do the 12 that we get, are giving away. So that's what we're doing. For whatever right, reason, it's comments? not showing me comments. Is anybody, Maybe no one's said hi yet. Is anybody live? Why are we watching us? Hold on. <laughs> Let have, me check on my We have end. people watching. All right, you can start. Uh, There's seven people online. Seven people? Where, is that, where are all the people at? I don't know. Maybe I went live from my channel again. Oh, um, nope. <laughs> it's not. We're on Jamie Ray Vintage. We're on Jamie Ray Vintage. But Vintage's it was struggling Vintage. to get started, so I don't know what's going on. All right, we're going to get painting this. Regardless of who's watching or who's not, thank you if you're on. Um, and I had a picture of it and the order it went in. All right, so this first uh, one. Go look up close. <clears throat> it says there's 24 people. Yeah, more there. people are jumping oh, on. Oh, Cassie now. said hi. Yep, people are on. All right, so what Zeb did, these boards are for our Deborah coffee table. We have one ordered locally. We sell them on our website. We actually have a full video of how we make it. and. So that will drop that link when we're no longer live anymore. But we are going to be making these into chippy, like reclaimed looking planks. So what did you start off with? So I'm gonna show them real quick okay. what it looks like here. We'll show you what we're gonna be making. So this is just a picture off of the website. Let me see if I can get the glare yeah, off. Oh, a little bit of glare. There we go, that's better. So that's the order we're gonna be painting them in and this is what we're doing today. We're getting these planks to look like that and then I'll add the legs and the scallops later. And what he did was, it, we used to use traditional stain, but that stinks and takes 24 hours to dry. So instead of using dark walnut, which used to be our go-to, we've painted these with dark and decrepit, which we sell at jbrayvintage.com. It's all natural and it dries in about 15, 20 minutes and you don't have to wait 24 hours. Plus you don't have to stink yourself up. And then after we did that, we sprayed on what, shellac? Yeah, I did shellac them. The dark and decrepit was not quite dry, and then I shellacked it about 20 minutes ago. So the shellac is still a little, a little tacky. tacky. The key to getting the good chippiness is to have whatever sealer you have underneath not be quite dry yet. We like shellac because it's got a short work time, so I can spray it and then come back and do it really quick. If so. you want it really chippy, you can use lacquer, like a spray can of lacquer. We didn't have any, so shellac is what we're working with. And we didn't want it to be overly chippy, but if you want that super chippy look, spray it with lacquer. And then another thing you can do is like put a coat of milk paint, let it chip, sand it off, spray it with more lacquer than you could layer on another color. And you literally can just like lacquer, milk paint, lacquer, milk paint if you want that really chippy aged look. Yeah. But you have to not be like totally crazy about perfection. You just have to <laughs> let it do its own thing. That's, that's the thing with milk paint. Um, so the milk paint is mixed up with no extra bond. And the colors we're using are... You start painting then, they probably want to start seeing us. Paint yes, it. let's start painting. So we need to, hang on. So this one here is going to start out with snowflake. Not snowflake. Or snowflake. Flowers. Wrong flower, brand. Flower, flower sack. Flower sack in milk paint. All right, so flower sack, and then we need to go moody blue, 
And did we end up going with galvanized? Uh, yes, that is the correct color. That's the right color. And then galvanized. So. And we mixed up two tablespoons of each color because it doesn't take much. So this moody, I'm going to put the camera down so you guys can see the planks better. It's better to paint them before you assemble it. We've, we've tried, we've done it the other way when Zeb forgot to pre-paint them and it's a hot mess. You gotta yeah, tape you it all off. gotta like tape stuff off and... So here's a funny story. This coffee table, it's called the Deborah coffee table after my sister. I actually saw this, a similar coffee table in Joanna Gaines um, house. And I really, really loved it. And so we took it and I was like, well, how hers was made with true salvage. I was like, well, how can we recreate this? So Zeb and I came up with a similar design. And then I actually am friends with the designer that built Joanna Gaines coffee table. And she follows me on Instagram. I can't remember her name now. Um, <laughs> she's out of Waco, Texas. And she saw it and she messaged me and she's like, oh my gosh. That's just like the one I built for Joanna. It looks so good. I like it even better. So Joanna Gaines may know that this coffee table exists if that friend told her. And that's as close as I've ever got to Joanna Gaines. There's my story. <laughs> oh, my foam brush. If you're wondering, we're using foam brushes because we have to do so many colors. We do not want to have to wash them. Or get out six yeah. paint brushes. So we're just going to use these and then throw them away when we're done. And milk paint is pretty forgiving. You could probably paint milk paint with just about anything, especially if you don't care if it's not perfect. So let me show you guys something real quick. This side here is not going to be exposed. Like no one's ever going to see that. So, oops, splinter. So I just, I just did the top. I didn't want to waste a bunch of dark and decrepit on something that's not going to be seen. Same with the paint. We'll go down a little I on the lip. I go along the edge. Yep, we'll go down a little on the lip and then that's, that's all she wrote on that. Because when you put this table together, you can kind of see the edges. Yep, I've sanded the edges down to make them look old. Yeah, when you're building wood, if, when you're building with new wood, if you want it to look old, you need to round off all the edges because if it has sharp new wood edges it's not going to look old because barn wood planks and old wood wears down and gets rounded on the edges all right i'm going to look at questions all right here we'll bring it back up so they can see you while you answer all the questions uh, here, cassie says awesome story i would love to go to waco and meet her i've been to waco but i've never got an introduction to joanna maybe someday <laughs> um did we announce the Brianna, yes, we did announce the winner. I can't remember her name, but she's already contacted us and we're mailing out her paint this week. It's Joan Fisher. Oh, Joan Fisher. Yep. And we are going to do another giveaway probably next month because that was really fun. Everybody seemed to enjoy that. So yeah, we'll we try that. to do one or two giveaways a month, just some fun things, get you guys some product. Estudio Hugalde, I can't even say that. Estudio Hugalde says, hola desde Uruguay. So, Thank you for watching all the way from Uruguay. Let's see, Denver, Colorado this morning. Hola from Arizona, from Fabiola. Sherry Ray's on. All right, Diane Johnson said replay. Diane, this is live. This is not a replay, you didn't miss us. Diane's my friend from Utah. Um, Dixie says she missed the first part. What is dark and decrepit? So dark and decrepit is an all-in-one um, stain and sealer, but it's water-based, all natural. And I always put an extra coat of sealer over it just because I feel like the built-in sealer isn't quite enough for like tabletops and stuff. It's a lot similar to the color of dark walnut stain, but it's water-based, it's all natural, non-toxic, and we stained these boards with it before we got started. So we had a dark underneath, and I really love it. I used to use traditional stain all the time, but it takes 24 hours to dry, so you shouldn't put paint or sealer on it for 24 hours. Um, and then it also stinks. So this dark and decrepit, it's dry in about 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, I put this, I started putting the dark and decrepit on at 9.30 and then I shellacked it. Yeah, the dry time is much quicker. You can, you can use it in your house without worrying about getting asphyxiated or using it around your kids. If you get it on your hands, it's water-based so it washes off. If you've ever gotten traditional stain on your hands, I've actually had to use WD-40 to get traditional stain off of my hands. Not real good for your skin. So that's why I like this dark and decrepit. It works really good. And the thing about dark and decrepit is you can wipe it back to get a lighter color. Or if you want darker colors, you can put multiple coats. You can also use dark and decrepit over the top of an existing finish. 
kind of like a gel stain. It's a little thinner than it's a, a gel little stain. bit thinner, so it's not going to be as thick as a gel stain. But you can do it over an existing finish if you want. So I like having that flexibility. You don't actually have to put it on raw wood. I do have to say, if your existing finish is super shiny, you might want to like lightly sand it a little bit, but you can use it over existing finish. So, Dark and Decrepit is made by DIY Paint, and it's one of the many products we sell on our website. Along with the milk paint, we're using milk paint in Flower Sack, Moody Blue. This is this color is Moody Blue. And then we're going to have Pantry Door and Sweetie Jane and Galvanized here pretty quick. All right, I think those are both the Moody Blues. Now I need... Oh, Diane says she's apparently in her usual days. Whatever. It's, you know, we're almost Christmas. Everybody's tired, busy. Let's see. Um, Linda says, love all your teaching videos. You have taught me so much from Cedar City. She's close to us. Cedar City is not far from us at all. About three hours. Could you use dark and decrepit on kitchen cabinets? Absolutely. If I was gonna do kitchen cabinets though, I would not just sit it on top of an existing finish because it's gonna be more durable if it's touching the raw wood. So I would actually sand your cabinets down pretty close to the raw wood before I put it on there just because if you just put that over your finish, it's gonna be sitting on there as opposed to soaking in. However, now that I've said that, if you wanted to do a finish where you put the dark and decrepit on and then you put something over the top of it, like a paint or whatever, and then you wet distress, you could do that without sanding all the way. Because sometimes your cabinets are like a golden oak and you want to put like a white swan over the top, but you want dark peeking through. You could totally put dark and decrepit around all the edges, let it dry, put the white swan, wet distress back to the dark, and then seal it, and that would be a really awesome finish. Okay. Very interested in this video as I mostly work with milk paint. Yeah, we are gonna start using some more milk paint. I think I go through phases. In reality, probably the reason I don't use milk paint all the time is because you have to mix it and sometimes I'm lazy. Or- well, We're gonna go with a bunch of chippy finishes this spring too, so yeah. it lends to that really well. The more chippy we do, the more milk paint we bust out. I was going to say something and I forgot. Oh, I like to use dark and decrepit almost like a glaze. Like if you're glazing something and you oh, want, yeah. want it in the details, it's really great for that. So if you have a piece of furniture and you painted it, let's say white swan, you put one coat of sealer over it. So that way you have a little bit of control and then you can use dark and decrepit as a glaze. So not only is it a stain with a built-in top coat, you can also use it as a glaze, which is really cool. So it's kind of an all in one. Situation. I'm not going to lie. These foam brushes do not nearly get the coverage as the paint pixie brushes. I know. I, I was painting this board over here and I was like, oh, I should probably be using I feel like I'm doing arts and crafts at school or something. I know. These are not great, <laughs> but I also didn't want to wash my brushes. Okay, so this board here is gray, Seth? Yes, that one goes galvanized. That goes galvanized this, too? Yep. So we I got the moody blue. So I need one more. I need a flower sack over here, right here. No, this one's flower sack. So... Second from the end. This is, is galvanized. Flower sack. Which one? Which other board is galvanized? Galvanized, right here. This one's galvanized. Yep. I'm just gonna do this so we know. All right. So this is galvanized. This is really close to, um, I would say, gravel road. If you're used to DIY paint, or um, probably what's that? It's a darker gray. Industrial. Yeah, industrial. It's close to industrial by it's, Fairy Chalk. Leather. It's not. It's a medium gray. Yeah, it's 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 one of my favorite grays, mostly because. I don't like a real dark, almost black, heavy looking gray, but I don't like light grays either. So it's like perfect. Yeah, Haverdash is the lighter gray by Milk Paint, but this is the medium gray industrial. And if you, I always suggest if you are working with grays and you want to change the tone and make it darker, just have some black Milk Paint on hand and you can actually adjust it however you want. Or just buy just black and just white and you can make any shade of gray you want. And I have had a few times when I needed gray and not had it and just mixed my black and white. Where did you go with the snowflake cup? I keep calling it snowflake. It's flower set. <laughs> oh, Kimberly Ellis says, season's greetings from Kimberly in Nova Scotia, Canada. Is it cold there? Because I feel like it might be. I might need it. Do we have another foam brush? This one doesn't want to stay on. <laughs> yes. Where's my package of foam brushes? I have like 25 of them. I don't know where you'd put All right. It. I don't know. Let me finish painting this board and I'll find it for you. Like, Reasons? Here. Here, I'll just, <laughs> this is why I don't necessarily love cheap foam brushes. 
It was your idea to get the foam brushes. You know, I was hoping for a chip brush. The foam brushes work, though. It's what I had. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, I like to also paint up a little bit on the edges, too, just in case they show when it's put together. So I go in a little bit on each side. And it's going to take about two coats of paint um, to cover these. And then these, the white might actually take three because the whites don't cover quite as well. Did you tell them how much you mixed up? Oh, I mixed up two tablespoons. The measuring cups, right? Or the little measure was right there. That's oh, right. So to do this project, I mixed up two tablespoons of milk paint to two tablespoons of warm water. So it doesn't take very much at all. Yeah, it's very, I mean, that's not even half a sample, is it? Or a quarter is this of a one's Sweetie Jane, it goes on that board? Yep, it goes on that board. Okay. Yeah, it's not even half a sample. And so, you only want to mix up the amount of milk paint that you need because if you mix up too much, it can set up and then go bad. If it doesn't set up, you can keep it in the fridge for about a week or two. It may start to smell. It is all natural. It's got milk in it, so. <laughs> oh. Good thing I was sealed. What did you just drop? Uh, the package of milk paint I had for the oh. thumbnail picture. Yes. <laughs> yeah that good thing because that powder that pigment is oh it would be all over you don't want to spill it don't spill the milk paint powder it is heavily pigmented so if you're just jumping in let me show you what this is going to look like once it's all done in coffee table form in coffee table form zeb turns the legs and everything it has a pretty scalloped edge There we go. So if you're just joining in, that's what we're going for. This is going to be the top of a coffee table. And we just, we're used to number it, but now that we have a reference picture, we just get the reference picture out and line them up. And then that's how we, we paint them. Now, this isn't the first time that I've showed Zeb a picture and been like, can you just make this? <laughs> it happens a lot, actually. Yeah, that's the story of our life. All right. Okay, I got that painted. All right, I got this last one. Do you want to start moving the boards and prepping so we can start stamping our cards? You're gonna answer questions. I'm looking at, I'm just, all right. Laura asks, question about the foam brushes you carry. How long do they last before they start to fall apart from use? Uh, the rollers, we only carry foam rollers um, and <laughs> I don't know, four or five big projects. Depends yeah, on how rough the wood is. That's the thing with foam, right? Yeah. Like, if it's smooth, you're fine. If you Like, these are rough boards that may snag the foam, so we're not going to get more than one use, but we don't sell these. These are just from Walmart. So we do use the Wooster 3-inch Foam King brush a lot for doing sealing and things like that when we want, like... A, but we don't sell that. When we, yeah, I'm getting to that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> But we don't have that on the website. I'll put a link for it below if you want to use those. They last a long time. They can be washed. I mean, I could probably seal three or four tables, like tabletops, with one foam brush with those Wooster ones. These ones here, they're going to go in the trash as soon as we're done. We're not going to even bother washing use. these. But the thing about the Wooster one is when you're, we only use them for sealing. And when you're sealing something, it's already been painted so a lot, and you've sanded it. So a lot of those, like, rough edges are gone. Hey, John Breddy, he's watching from Wales. Today, Wednesdays are a good time to catch us if you're out of the States because we go live earlier. So it's in the afternoon for a lot of places. Most of Europe, it's afternoon there, late afternoon. So We go live because Jack's in preschool. Yep. 10.30 except, on Wednesdays. Except for next week, all the kids will be home, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know what we're going to be doing, taking down our Christmas tree live. I don't know. Maybe. It's going to be after Christmas. Putting, putting all the Christmas decor up. I always take so, it down the So, question on that. Do you guys wait until after New Year's, or what do you do when you take down your Christmas stuff? We usually have had it up be, right around Thanksgiving, so it's been up for a while at our house, so we take it down right away as soon as Christmas is over. and Start getting up Valentine's Day. Yep. Well, spring stuff. No, spring stuff comes up in March. Hmm. That's it. I don't know. Sometimes I'm tired <laughs> of the snow and the flowers come out. I can't come. I can't. I don't like cold weather. It's not a secret. Anybody that watches us know that snow's, snow is not my jam. 
Alright, go find your other, yeah. go find you your really other foam brushes. You really stopped and started a lot. You got a lot of lines on It's okay. It. It's getting a heavy distress. It'll be alright. And probably another coat. Alright, let's move these now. Alright, so we are going to quickly move these over. Here, I'll move them over. You get your... I'll get my cards. Okay, yeah, so we're changing cards. gears. This is what we do a lot at our house. So we can, that's how we get maximum projects finished. Is we'll, while one thing is drying, we work on another project. Seb, let me move these. Uh, you can just put them right here on the dining table. All right. Did you grab a drop cloth, though? I really don't want milk paint all over my dining table. Yep. Here, stay here and talk to them. All right, I'm in, I'm in shot. Hold on, I had to get my stamp box. Okay. Could I tell us what my project is again? Okay, so these boards are going to be made into a dining table. When we're not live, we'll put the link below. They're for our Deborah coffee table. We had one ordered last week for a local pickup, and so we're building that table. And these boards have been stained with dark and decrepit, sprayed with shellac, and then milk painted so that we get it chippy. And while they are drying, we are going to start stamping our Christmas cards because I have to mail them out today. Tomorrow is actually the deadline to get things by Christmas priority mail. So I feel like today is probably the deadline for first class. So I've got to get them in the mail. They may arrive late. They, people might get after Christmas cards. <laughs> All right. Um, Denise says she's not a snow lover either, which is funny because Denise is another Utah like me. So she has to deal with the snow. Um, LaDonna says, as a Catholic, I take my tree down after the Feast of Epiphany, January 6th. Love you too. I've learned so much from your channel. Let's see. Just making sure I haven't missed anything. Okay, so we had a question from Rihanna. How do we like synthetic versus natural blended brushes? So I prefer natural blended brushes, but that's just me. Um, and Zeb, I don't know. Do you have a preference one way or the other? Um. Not really. I like the synthetic brush myself. Just, I feel like they don't, like, like the natural brushes will get stained mm. and the synthetic brushes clean out a little easier. I yeah, think. I get, yeah, the synthetic brushes will hold the less, like, you can get them, like, bleached clean, whereas the natural brushes, they will dye, I guess. Yeah, it's not like they still have paint color but, on them. They just take the color, especially using DIY paint. Yeah, more like they look like the colors, not like it's going to get on your next project. I like synthetic, or not synthetic, I like the natural because I like the texture, like, just the way it holds. So, really, you have to try each, and it's really a personal preference. I carry both because I have some people that swear by the synthetic brush, and then I have some people that love the natural. So I just carry both so everybody's taken care of. Where are your cards? So Kimberly Drake says she has newly built corbels and she wants to use milk paint shellac first. Yeah, you can shellac or you can use a spray can of lacquer. Will work too over the top of your stain. And then you want to put your milk paint on when the sealer, whether your shellac or lacquer, is still slightly tacky to the touch, and that will help it crackle and chip. I'm hoping we didn't wait too long on these boards because they weren't as tacky as I would have liked. I think we'll still get good chipping because I didn't. I sanded them beforehand, not heavily though. I left a lot of the ridges and the grain so that when we go to sand them and distress them, it'll pick that up. So Tanya wants to know when we're going to get the type setting in, and I was actually going to do this and I totally forgot. We actually have um, two sets of type setting, and I didn't know how to put them in the system and be fair because we had a million people ask us about them. So I'm actually going to put them in the system now, just two. First come, first serve. First, sorry guys, it's like the Hunger Games of stamps. So I have put those in. So we have two type settings that we wound up having after we shipped everything out. I've just put them in stock so you can check and then when they're gone, I won't have any more, I believe, until January. Yeah. We have 15 on order that we're praying we get before the middle of January that if they have the stock, they'll fulfill. Otherwise, I won't get any more farm animals, farm wood, or type setting until the middle of January because my wholesaler ran completely out. But I just have to find two, so I just put them in there. So if you want them, they're, they're there. All right, so. Where are your cards? I'm gonna get the cards. What are we gonna do on these? I don't know, but I feel like we have paint all on this. Yeah, you should probably take that off. We're gonna, we're gonna risk getting a little paint on the table or, or the counter. It's... Or just fold it over. 
Yeah, that'll work. Here. Hang on. Sorry, right, guys. Whoops, dropping stuff. Live. Live television here. All right. Okay, fold that over. And you can pull it over your end. Oh, look. Fresh, clean drop cloth. Okay. All right, so we've got, these are what we're gonna be stamping. I picked them up on Amazon. I'll drop a link when they're not, we're not live anymore. I, I liked them because they were like a natural color. So here's the envelopes and then here's the cards. These are 50, so let's not do more than that. These are the cards here? Yeah. All right. And I'm gonna put pictures of our family inside. I ordered a bunch and I lost them. The so I that's them. the reason they haven't gone out is because we had the pictures. We have no idea where they got off to. And so we're waiting on more. They're probably with all of your socks somewhere. They're with my socks. You know, those also go missing. <laughs> where things go to die in the sock drawer. Yeah, for sure. All right, so I'm gonna get some stenciling too. So I'm gonna get my stencil. Do you need a brayer, Tim? Um. Yeah, I'm gonna need a brayer. Do you want to ink those or do you want to paint? Um, let's try both. All right, well, I'm gonna get you off some. Where's the brayer? Okay, so we've got the IOD ink in stone gray and we've got a brayer and I'm gonna do some stenciling so I've got my little C stencil brush. Oh, they're talking about brushes. Brenda likes says, I have used the natural that I purchased from you and they're amazing, but they're definitely stained. I will try the synthetic and see when I order. Yeah. Stain doesn't bother me because as long as it doesn't get on my project. Honestly, I feel like they paint the same. Um, there's not much difference there. I feel like the natural blends a little better because it holds onto the paint a little better but I mean as far as like getting good coverage with your brush they both hold a ton of paint like the natural holds so much and then the the synthetic just the design the oval design of it it's really good you can get good coverage usually in a first coat with them all right you put this right on my chair sorry I didn't have a good place to set it so I'm using the essential stencils on mine Zeb's gonna stamp um the Essential Stencils, if you go to their website, EssentialStencil.com, and you use code Jamie Ray Vintage, you can save 10%. And when we're not live, we'll drop a link for you. I don't think Caitlin's on today. She is not feeling very good. So, so Brenna asks another question. When you use a stamp on a curved surface, do you use the backer or freehand it like a lamp base? A lot of times I'll freehand just because if the backer is bigger than the surface I'm stamping, it just gets in the way. So I just freehand as best I can, try not to shift, you know. Might take a couple tries, wipe, wipe the paint off. Usually if you've got your thing sealed that you're stamping, it wipes off easily. Before I it's probably dry. should have taped the stencil down. Oh, yeah. That's not my best job. I need to get tape. I may have used your masking tape to tape off the stair treads that I still have not painted. I have not finished cutting the stair treads on the wall. So am I out of mat? Am I out of tape? Um, I think I have some in the garage. Hold on, I'm gonna check in the office. I I know I have some in the garage if you want to use that. <laughs> Sweetie Jane is a little on the minty side. It's, Sweetie it's, Jane is blue. Yeah, it's got like a blue-green. Alright. I'm going to try this again with tape and see if that helps. Oh, that tape's not going to pull off. But Alright. Let me go get you some masking tape. Zeb, I don't need you. I'm good. I got this. I'm doing it. I already have tape on here. He's, he's gone. He doesn't think this is going to work. I feel like it's going to work just fine. I can't read comments, so I guess that will have to read comments when you get it back. We're going to try my way, and then we'll try your way. 
And then if my way doesn't work, then we know that you were right. I know it's not about being right. It's about pulling the stuff up. Well, luckily these weren't very expensive. You probably <laughs> should use painter's tape. Heather Jordan tape. says, I love that you do things live and show the mistakes. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely... That's better than doing things dead. <laughs> There's definitely a lot of mistakes that go into every project we do. We, I don't know that we ever strive that for one's perfection. Not very good either. Oh, you have way too much paint on there. I dry brushed it. It just it got. I think there's paint underneath my stencil. Mm. All right, so that one didn't work. All right, try three. Isn't it? Don't they say third time is a charm? Oh, this is try three already. Yeah. Just try this spot here where it's like almost dry. That's. But I need. I need a. Get the paint off the this well, bottom side of the stencil. All right. Do we have lights anywhere? Okay, stamps. Starting to stamp now. Yeah, you stamp. You're better than I am. What should I do? Should I just do like these roses? I think that'd be fun. How is that Christmassy? I don't know. I was gonna do. So I was thinking you could do like a wreath on each side with an R in the middle and monogram it. Okay. Customize it because we're the rays. Gotcha. All right. I'm going, I'm using the Queen Bee stamp set because it has, it's a little different than the wreath builder. If you want to do it all in one stamp, it's got the Both inverted sides. sides. So you can do it all at once instead of having to like make a circle. And that comes on the Queen Bee, Queen Bee stamp set. Looks like this. And that one's actually in stock. Yep, this one's available. You can actually buy that one. All right. Third time here. Now I gotta go real quick because I'm losing my patience. It's pretty much completely dry brushing right now. It's not got very much paint on there. So I think that'll help. You know, I think it's funny that we're gonna have our own line of stencils coming out in January and I'm not even really that good at stenciling. You're great at stenciling. I'm excited about the You're designs. great at distressing stencils. Yeah, you can't distress Christmas cards though. That's true, you need that to be looking crisp. It's, it's gonna look so good. All right, guys. Oh, these ones are gonna be cool. Don't you think, oh, you're gonna do, oh yeah, that's way cool. I like that. Oh, Zeb. Oh no, no my you're... tape was bad. It didn't do this the last time. You put the tape down too tight. Just, you know, just lightly tap it. Well, <laughs> the stencil was perfect until it wrapped. Uh, <laughs> uh, the masking tape for the lose. The packing tape is better. All right, fourth time's a charm. Fourth I'm to open time. up. Now you know what these. So these are a lot like card. They're they're cardstock, but they they're still a little bit thicker than like cardstock. So I'm just gonna lightly, lightly tack it down. All right, let's see who can get one of these done first. Where's my bread? I don't know where, I'm not going to help you. I'm not going to help you beat me. I just dropped my little C brush. All right, let's see who can do it first. And have it not look dumb. And have it not look dumb. All right. Disclaimer, not look dumb. Yeah, like that time we had a race upholstering C. Which reminds me, I need you to put those videos up on Facebook. <laughs> okay. I did that by hand. I was using a handheld stamp. A sta handheld staple gun? Or a staple gun, yeah. Not handheld stamp. They're all handheld stamps. Are you using... Are you... Stop it! Stop beating me! Are you using ink or using paint? I win. I use paint on that. I'll use ink in a little bit. I'm gonna try both. I'm almost done, guys. I'm gonna do a few like this, and then I might switch it up. We're gonna mix it all up. You never know what you're gonna get when you get a Christmas card from us. Okay. Well, this is the first year we've actually made them. You usually order like those template ones from Costco or whatever that are all on right. the shiny. All right, fourth time's a charm. Reindeer. Hey, all that right. looks great. That's very crisp. One down. 
42 to go. Okay. I probably won't do all of I these may have go. been a little hasty with my brayer and the paint trying to beat you. I'm going to yeah. try to get a clearer image on this one. Oh, so it wasn't cool? That's usable. I don't. I feel like I won then if yours wasn't good. Mine's usable. It was done. And no, it's usable. Mine was crisp. And then we're going to get asked this. We are not sealing these cards. No, no sealing on the cards. Because, you know, they only have to last for a few days because the season is almost over anyways. I don't think anybody's going to wash them. So Blossoms and Bundles has a great tip. She says, I put masking tape on my pants first. It makes it so it sticks enough, but not crazy bad. Oh, you take down the tack. Smarty pants. Smarty pants. I'm just using packing tape, and that seems to work. And it's low tack. Not too tape. competitive. We're very competitive. <laughs> yeah, that. do you see how not crisp that is, though? This is not crisp. All right, I'm going to do like four more reindeer, and then I'm going to switch to a different stencil. All right, let me, I haven't been looking at comments for a minute. Let me look through here. Oh, are the type settings both all gone already? Sorry, guys. If I get more, I'll let you guys know. As soon as we have some, we'll announce it. So make sure you're subscribed to the newsletter and stories and all those things and so that you can get those Caitlin first. And let her know they're all gone. They're like gold. They're so hard to get a hold of. Okay. Oh, they're answering questions for us. Thank you, guys. Chalk paint can and milk paint can be mixed together. They play they play well together. I don't know that you're necessarily going to get the chipping you want if you mix them, but if you want the colors to go together and like make your own custom color, they can go. Make milk paint and DIY paint. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's all water based. Yeah. It might. I don't know what'll happen. You know. It's grand. Life's a grand experiment. I have totally mixed fairy chalk weather, DIY, milk paint, whatever I needed. I just got to send Caitlin a message. All the typesetting are gone. Okay. All right. What are you, are you reading comments there? Well, they want me to leave the card open, but I don't want it to go, because I'm doing the brayer on the whole thing, I don't want it to go over the edge. I want the back to be clean. Well, do it up close so you can show them. I will. I'm winning, because you only and have one. And I need one. to go get a paint stick. You Someone said have... to use a paint stick, and I'm reading comments. You only have one card done, and I've got I have four. two done. Oh, okay. Is that yours, too? Yeah. Oh, okay, well, then I only have three done. And I read comments. It's uh -oh. all right. It's not uh -oh. a competition. If you want, you can do them all. Uh oh. <laughs> and I'll go build the coffee table. That one's going to your parents because they'll love me even what? if it's not perfect. <laughs> send, a, send the busted ones to my mom and dad. All right, we're going to try the tape thing. See if that works. <laughs> Put it on my pants. Although I'm not wearing jeans, I'm wearing leggings. I'm wearing my fleece lined warm leggings. I got three pairs of leggings on Amazon. So I would use the masking tape. And do that on your pants. Hold on, I'm, I'm texting Caitlin. Are you conducting business? I'm conducting business with Caitlin. She's She's been pretty sick last couple days. Yeah, they can't figure out what it is, so she's stuck being miserable. Where is I, where's my little tree stencil? All right. All right, hold on. Oh, it's right here. This one's cute, this joy. I'll do this next. Okay, so the masking tape, you take it and you put it on your pants. Okay. This is going to go off the edge a little bit. I also like to tape mine down to my surface underneath. So that way, hmm. it the whole card doesn't move. It like holds the stencil and the card. There we go. Okay, we're going to see if she's right. She probably is. Most of our followers know more. Well, she said she learned it. I, I missed the comment. It's gone up in the comments, but she used to do a lot of stuff, like stenciling and things like that. Yeah. Well, you could use Something low tack painter's tape, but, you know, who has that on hand? This is from the dollar store. <laughs> They're calling our competition the Ray Games. The Ray Games? <laughs> it's a friendly competition. All right. I'm going to show you guys, this is another essential stencil that I'm using. 
Don't forget, if you order your essential stencils, to use code Jamie Ray Vintage. Yeah, you might as well save. Is it 10%? I think it's 10. And also, we get a little credit for promoting it when you use that. So that's always nice. We got five kids to put through college, so there's that. Hopefully they all go. Oh, we're using DIY paint and black velvet, in case you're wondering what color this is. All right, I'm going to show... Can you guys see what I'm doing a little better there? Oh, you're showing them that way. Yeah. Oh, she was right. It worked pretty darn good. Here's this one. Bonus oh, tip. Oh, bonus joy and a reindeer. I actually like the joy better than the reindeer, I think. All right, I need to get, I'm going to do a few more of these and then I'll set up a different stencil with, Bam. The, Boom, baby. with the R. As Jack would say, boom, baby. So this is a lot more fun than just ordering them online. Plus, custom. This is way more, this is what dreams are made of right here. Stamp and stenciling dreams right here. I do it all day. <laughs> all right, can you guys see back there? Oh, let me bring it closer. My stamp's, my stamp's gonna dry out, but I'll, I'll put the brayer on it again. Well, you are the stamping king. Mm. There's the dancing queen and the stamping king, and you're the stamping Am queen. I? I, I, like I do some... it a lot. I don't know how uh, how good it is. Well, I don't know. There's a lot of competition. I don't know how many men stamp as much as you do. Hey, there's a few guys in our group on Facebook doing all kinds of stuff. I feel like this really shows you how versatile DIY paint is, though. You buy some paint, you can stamps your Christmas cards, you can stencil them, you can make, uh, we've, what else have we done with it? We've done pillowcases with it. You can watercolor with it. We did that the other day. And in case anybody's wondering, this little C stencil brush is my favorite. I feel like it works especially good for the stenciling challenge like me. Denise Shoup has a good question. What is the difference between little black dress and black velvet? Black velvet is not as dark. Ooh, this is not the most perfect. Another joy. I got a little fancy without. Okay, now I need a new one. All right, guys. I think you get the idea of what we're doing here. I thought you were going to do a different design. Uh, I don't know if we have time. We need to go get Jack. Oh, what time? It's 11.18. We've okay. got a few more minutes. we got a few more minutes? All right. I'm going to do this one, the nativity. I'm going to reuse this. Do we got comments, questions? I've been concerns? kind of eyeballing them a little. Mostly comments. <laughs> oh, this is another thing that I wanted to tell you guys. Um, so IOD announced yesterday that their molds are going to be shipping. So if you have not pre-ordered your molds and I believe the transfers, I would go ahead and do that because there are limited quantities. So if they've already been ordered, which the ones I have online have been, then we'll get them. But once those are gone, we may not get more molds until January, middle to the end of January. So I know some people must know because yesterday I got a big order for pre-orders and molds and transfers. And I'm sure that they're in the IOD tribe and saw that they were going to be shipping soon. So I think they're going to start shipping to me Thursday, and then we'll ship them out when we get them. All right, I'm using the Nativity. This is also an essential stencil. What are you doing in your next? I'm going to do a little R and a bow. Oh, we can't go. Yeah, we got to show them those boards. That's, oh. that's why we're stamping. We're taking time letting that paint dry. <laughs> we almost forgot what we started. If less Stamp is wasn't clean. Had to lick the back. So if you get a Christmas card from us, it could also contain some DNA, so use gloves. Don't be long. Okay, almost done with my little nativity here. Okay, helps if you sing. Oh, that came out way cute, guys. Wait for it. Nativity. You guys like that one? 
I'm not right. sure if I'm gonna love it with the little R, but we're gonna try it just to show you. The little R? That's all you changed up was the little R. Oh, you added a bow. I added a bow and a little R. Oh, these are, these are um, not dry. Obviously. Are they not dry so we can't show them the chippiness? We're gonna have to show them the coffee. Okay, so if you guys wanna see our projects that we do in these live videos once we're done, um, community, follow community, hit the notification bell, make sure you're subscribed, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, we'll, it's uh, Jamie Ray Vintage on all of those. We put pictures on all of those platforms so that we can reach as many people as possible. So if you don't follow us on one thing, you can see it on another. So if you want to see pictures of all that, and yeah. end of the coffee table and how chippy it gets, Follow us on those. Because the milk paint is still drying. So we'll share a picture of the coffee table top along with all of these Christmas cards. We'll show you those on community, Instagram, and Facebook. Oh, that's one already I know said. not everybody Instagrams and Facebooks, so. We try to hit it all. We try to make sure that community gets it too. And the community, if you just go to Jamie Ray Vintage on YouTube and you hit community, it'll be in there. Oh. Are we missing any comments? Hang on. I, I got to readjust my stamp. I didn't like how high that was. Oh, okay. Let's see. All right, real quick. Whoa, my phone's catching up on comments. Yep, there's been lots of comments. So Everybody's... what is community, Zeb? Community is just a uh, feed in YouTube where you can post pictures. Let me stamp this and then I'll show you exactly where to find the community. I'll bring the iPad close and walk you through it. Uh, Maria says, how do you seal when you using DIY paint on stencils, how do you prevent smudging? I usually spray a sealer on there. For these Christmas cards, I'm not doing anything. Like the paint's not gonna come off, it'll be fine. Um, and then Am Sid says you can't wait for the JRV uh, stencils to come out in January. We are getting that finished. And then Terrarium and Craft says they're crafting as a family right now. Yeah, the, you know, I feel, I always feel when we announce things like it's a long ways off, and then now January is like a week and a half away, a Sneaking week away. Up on us. The joy is just like the Target dollar spot mugs. That's what Blossoms and Bundles says. All right, so this, oop, got a little smear of pie. So this had the bow from the Queen Bee, the wreath from the Queen Bee, and the little R from the type set. Cute. All right. So this one here. This is this is a bow here. That's a separate piece. Zeb, and, and if you've seen our wall where we did the embroidery hoop wreath, then put the bow upside down on that one. Just saying. Okay. But that's okay. We still used it. So here's a picture of us live, right? We're on YouTube. Pull that down. Here's our home page on YouTube. Hang on, I can't see the glare over here. All right. So there we are. All right, so here's the homepage, videos, playlists, which if you're not checking those out, they've got lots of good stuff all bundled together. And community is right here. Community posts are on their way. For whatever reason, it's not connecting. Okay. But if it was working, that community tab is where the pictures would be. I bet you I can find it on my phone. Yep, so community is where we put the go. pictures. Oh yeah, here Show we go. Online. So you can see that picture. We went out and saw Santa Claus with the kids and Jamie wrote some fun stuff. And then another one here, it, we notified people that we were doing free shipping weekend last weekend, a picture of the kitchen, Jamie in front of the mirror, flash sale, um, picture of stuff we painted, small stuff we painted. So that's where you find all that if you guys wanna see that. And then if you didn't know what you can do when you're here at the home, there's a little bell, it doesn't have it on mine because this is our account, but there'll be a little bell right here. Click that and then it'll have a notification that comes up on the bottom and you can click see all and it'll show you everything. That way you don't miss any of our videos or community posts. And um, yeah, that's it. You guys wanna say hi to my dad? He's, he's napping. He's, he's snoozing. Oh, wait a minute. He's been here the whole time At just least watching. He has his teeth in, say hi dad. Hi. <laughs> Glad to see all the people. <laughs> all right, guys. Have a Merry Christmas. That's, that's Big Jack. That's who Baby Jack is named after. All right. Merry Christmas. We love you guys. We will be live on Saturday night.
um, with our regular haul video. And then again, um, next Wednesday, the day after Christmas, we'll be doing something. I don't know what. I think we're taking Monday off, Christmas Eve off. Yeah, Christmas Eve, we won't have a video, but this week we're gonna have a video Thursday, Friday, and we will be live Saturday, and then Monday we'll be off. We'll be back next Wednesday. Bye guys, be sure to go to jamierayvintage.com. If you can't get your stuff in by Christmas, you can definitely ask people to give you gift cards. So if you need some of these supplies, definitely do that. And Essential Stencil is where those stencils came from. Use code Jamie Ray Vintage. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe. All right, guys. Bye, love you all. See ya. Oh, finger. Finger.